Hello, my name is Lawrence Sildana. I am the former Archbishop of Lahore, Pakistan. I am here to tell you about Christians in Pakistan and their hopes and dreams on World Day of Migrants and Refugees. Christians form a small minority in Pakistan, just 2% out of a population of 200 million Muslims. They are very small and helpless and poor, but they have great faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and they have to witness to him in their daily life. Take, for example, the case of Myra Shabazz, a schoolgirl of 14 years old who was abducted and forced to become a Muslim and marry her abductor. The judge in this case ruled that she should go and live with her so-called husband, although she was a minor. But due to international pressure, she has been released and is now back in her home. Also the case of Nadim Joseph, who was a young man and who wanted to live in a rich Muslim neighborhood and buy a house there. But the people objected and he was shot to death and became a witness of the Lord Jesus Christ. Cheryl, a teacher, was accused of blasphemy because she was accused of tearing out pages of the Quran and she too had to leave her job. So these cases are indicators of the difficult times that our Christians face in Pakistan. The root cause of all the problem is the blasphemy law. This law hangs like a sword over the heads of other poor people. It means that if somebody is accused of insulting the Holy Quran or the Prophet Muhammad, they are liable to life imprisonment or even death. So they live in great fear and, and hardship and always expecting something bad to happen to them. And indeed, if they are accused, then they go away from their homes, lock their homes, and relocate to another city where they are unknown, and there they start life again. These are called internal refugees. And these are the subjects of this year's World Day of Migrants and Refugees. They should be in our thoughts and prayers, and we must help them. And they remind us that Pakistan is the fifth worst country for persecution of Christians in the world. So therefore, the Lord Jesus said, Blessed are those who are persecuted, for the kingdom of God is theirs. But then there is another category of those families who make a very important and desperate decision to leave Pakistan altogether. They sell their properties and all that they have and they move to another country like Thailand. And there they live in great hardship and misery and they wait for a chance to be accepted as asylum seeker in a Christian country like Australia or Canada. And there must be about 250 of such families languishing in great hardship in Thailand. So these refugees then are really those that we need to help because they are in a desperate situation and therefore I am thankful to the Refugee Association, ORAT, Office of Refugees, of Toronto for reaching out to them and helping them. Dear dear friends, on this World Day of Migrants and Refugees, let us remember the words of Jesus. I was a stranger and you visited me. So the Lord Jesus identifies with these poor, desperate people who need our help and who need our support and our prayers and also our financial help. So therefore then, on this World Year of Refugees, let us consider these people and pray for them and work and help them in their difficult hour because they are forgotten 
They are unfortunately living in a difficult situation, so therefore let us uh, do all that we can to help them. On this day, let us pray for them and let us pray in the end to Our Lady and say, O Mary, Lady and Queen of persecuted people, pray for us. Thank you.